Hi guys, this video is going to be part three in my series on Reggae One Drop in a really simplified form. Of course, we're still using sort of Bob Marley's Three Little Birds as a template, loosely. And uh, again, it's intended originally for a middle school band program where I teach, but you don't have to be a middle schooler or in a band even to get everything that you need to out of it to learn the basic skills. So uh, again, there'll be notation on the screen, a little play along at the end, and we'll actually do two versions of the groove in this video. So it'll be slightly longer than the last two, and this will be the last video in the series. So again, for complete beginners, it won't really go into the full groove of the song, unfortunately. So thanks for watching, have fun. Hi guys, in this video, we're going to add another layer of complexity to this Jamaican one drop reggae groove that we've been working on. So in the first video, of course, there is just one drop of snare and bass drum, and then the hi-hat always goes on two and four. In the next video, we're gonna do all of that stuff, but we added one snare drum, sort of optionally, on the beginning of the second bar of a two bar phrase. In this case, we're gonna focus on the hi-hat, which instead of just playing closed, you can hear in the track, sometimes the drummer plays it open. And by open, I mean they take their foot off of the pedal such that you get a longer, more sustained sound. So this is closed. This is open. So we want to throw the open hi-hats in to strategic places. So if we're still thinking about the two-bar groove that we used in the last video, the first hi-hat on the first bar is going to be open, and then the last hi-hat, the second hi-hat, of the second bar is going to be open to do a typical two-bar phrase from the actual recording. So it would go one open, kick and snare, closed, one closed, kick and snare, open. So you're going to sort of alternate in twos from that perspective. Uh, open, closed, closed, open. Then when you repeat, of course, it's going to be open, closed, closed, open again. So your opens actually back up to each other on the last open and the first open between uh, two two-bar phrases. So if I do them back to back, it would go open, closed, closed, open, open, closed, closed, open. And we'll, of course, play that slowly with just the single snare and kick without adding any extra snares in. Then I will play uh, eight repeats of that two-bar phrase, so 16 bars, um, of that at tempo so that you can play along with it. Okay, if you can get that groove with the hi-hat and the normal one-bar phrase, essentially, of worth of snare and bass, then we can add that extra snare from the other two-bar phrase from the last video and combine it all together for the highest level that we're going to go in this series. So I'll play this a few times, a little bit slow, and then a few times at tempo, so you can hear how it would all come together. And just keep in mind that there's no requirement that you do the hi-hat and the snare drum on every two-bar phrase for this entire song. Uh, it is an optional thing that gets thrown in, as you'll hear, sort of at random. He puts in other snares, other bass drums, does the hi-hat, doesn't do the hi-hat, depending on where in the song it is or the drummer's personal feeling at that time. So this is just things you could do if you've mastered the previous skill.
Okay guys, that's the last thing we're going to try to learn for this song. We're not going to play any fills at this point, and we're not going to try to mess around with the groove too much further. Uh, I know it's outside of a lot of your comfort zones. This one drop is definitely not intuitive for American style drum set players. So it's something that needs to be worked on. Again, let me know or let Mr. Finn know if you have any questions, and I'll see you guys in sectionals. Thanks a lot.